Direct input is available in the Plus, Pro and Architectural versions of Draftit and is a quick and easy method to assist geometry construction and modification. There are no buttons to click or input boxes to select before entering values. As soon as the numeric key is pressed, Draftit understands that you want to enter numeric data and alters the input method accordingly. You can type in coordinate data regardless of the current input mode, i.e. whether snap, x and y, polar, distance or scale factor is active. When a numeric key is pressed, a small input box appears next to the cursor to accept the input. When the Enter key is pressed, that value is accepted as the first value, or in some cases, such as distance or scale factor, it's the only value required. We will now draw a rectangle to see how direct input works. Click to define the first corner. You will see here that the XY is the current mode. It doesn't matter if the current mode is snap, as soon as the first numeric key is pressed, the input box appears next to the cursor. When the Enter key is pressed, the value is accepted. Here the mode is XY, so the first value locks the X axis. You can see this as the cursor is moved. You can, if you like, click a point to define the other value, or type it in in the same way. Sometimes Draftit only requires a single value, such as scale factor or offset. It works in exactly the same way, just type it in. For example, select the offset command and click on the line to offset. Move to the required side, type the value and press enter. You can also use direct input to enter polar coordinates as well as x, y and single values. We will now draw a line to show you how. Select the first endpoint. If the current mode isn't polar, click on the polar button or press F9. You can now see the polar dimensions. In this mode, the first value is the distance once entered, the line length is locked. Now enter the angle to complete the line. 